Here's our spectral CAN scanner. Its proven technology has been available since December of 2008. There's two lines of defense for keeping our spectral CAN clean and maintaining its accuracy in the field. The first is our nose section, which we use low pressure air to fill the cavity with air and keep contaminants from entering inside and landing on our glass system. The second is our removable optical window assembly, whereby the operators can remove it for cleaning and actually hold it up to the light to be sure that no contaminants have been left on the glass. Every 60 to 90 days, we use our removable calibration device installed in the enclosure to validate the scanner's accuracy in the field. Our removable validation strip contains a set of patches pre-measured with a handheld device. Our spectral cam measures these patches and has to have a certain accuracy to be considered measuring validly. If periodic recalibration is necessary, our industry standard white BCRA tile is used in that process. This is a subset of a set of tiles used in the clean room where our spectral cam is manufactured here at the Quad Tech High Tech Center. And this uh, tile keeps its properties over time and temperature. Two big problems that face the packaging industry when it comes to color measurement on film is a way to stabilize the film, prevent corrugation, and provide a constant backing medium for taking color measurements. Others have tried to solve these problems by using a white roller. Some of the issues with that approach is that keeping such a large surface area clean and free of contaminants is very difficult as well as keeping a constant known backing color. Our solution takes a different approach. By using high pressure air funneling through these channels, we create a vacuum to pull down the substrate, stabilize it prior to measurement, and the measurement is taken against a small, cleanable, known backing material. Our tile assembly is removable for ease of cleaning. It has electronics inside to store the color value of the white tile. The surface area is made from a material that has very low friction and it's actually a food grade quality material. The tiles that we use in this device are our same industry standard BCRA tiles because they maintain their color value over time. Once calibrated, the white tile is valid for 10 years and our black tile is valid for 5. We have both the white and black tiles so that opacity of the substrate can be calculated. Here I've set up a simulator to show you the high pressure air and how the substrate gets stabilized for measurement. By creating our high pressure vacuum channel, you can see that the substrate gets stabilized in this small surface area. The area that we're stabilizing for measurement is basically the surface area of the tile. Depending how your color targets are laid out, we can actually capture multiple targets at one time. In actual system use, in order to minimize the cost of using high pressure air, the air is pulsed so that we're only stabilizing the web just a few moments prior to measurement. We think our solution is better because the use of high pressure air creating a vacuum over a small surface area allows us to stabilize the web just prior to measurement. We're using a known controlled backing material and it's a small surface area which is very easily cleaned by press operators.